Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite fragrances out of my collection. The first one is Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. Now, I only have the body mist version of this scent. I don't have the perfume. But out of all of her body mists that I've tried, this one is my favorite. It is a very sweet scent, and it really does smell like candy. But I even prefer this one over the Cloud Body Mist, just because even though it's sweet, it's not as sickeningly sweet as that one, in my opinion. But it is still a very pretty scent. I definitely like to wear this during the day, but a really good one. The next one is Body Ecology Pink Vanilla Wish. Now, this one is supposed to be a dupe for Pink Chiffon by Bath & Body Works. However, I don't see that that much because to me, this one is just so much better. In my opinion, I know a lot of people love Pink Chiffon. But also, this one just doesn't really smell like that one to me. Now, Pink Chiffon has a weird scent note in there, and it kind of comes across as very, like, just like a weird note, almost like mayonnaise to me. <laughs> but I know a lot of people don't think that. It's just a very strong scent, um, but still very fruity at the same time. But this one, it's just so different to me. It really reminds me of a thousand wishes honestly it has like that same perfumey kind of scent but at the same time it's more gourmand um and it has like this cupcake like vanilla cupcake scent to it and you really get like sprinkles in the scent notes as well I really smell sprinkles even my boyfriend noticed that with this scent he's like that really does smell like sprinkles to me and I thought the same way but the peonies in here are so beautiful, and I really think that's what makes this scent stand out a little bit, and it really makes it into a very perfumey scent, similar to A Thousand Wishes. But at the same time, I think it's like the almond in here, and then of course the vanilla that really gives it more like that gourmand cupcake scent with sprinkles on top but overall this is a beautiful scent and I was honestly so impressed by this you can find this at Walmart along with sweet like sweet um like candy even though they sell that at other places too but got body ecology is specifically for Walmart and it's just so good this has become one of my favorites the next one is Twilight Mist by Body Fantasies. This is another Walmart scent. I think you can still get it at like CVS too. This one is really beautiful as well. It definitely smells a lot more perfumey. It's not really gourmand or anything, but it has a lot of different things going on with this. Um, it's actually kind of sex, like kind of like a sexy scent. Not like over the top, like into the night or anything, but it does have like a more grown up scent to it than the Pink Vanilla Wish. Definitely just a beautiful scent. You really get like, kind of like a floral notes in here. Let me see if it says anything. You get like floral notes and, but it just has like all these other notes added into here. Can't describe exactly what it smells like, but it's almost like a mysterious kind of notes in it and it just makes it very sexy the next one that is one of my favorites so this is really honestly it's very new to my collection but I just had to mention it because I was so impressed by it this is the it makes perfect sense and it's inspired by Victor and Ralph's flower bomb so this is just like uh it says it's a spray cologne and it smells like flower bomb. I honestly really do think it does. I only smelled flower bomb um, at TJ Maxx. Or no, it wasn't TJ Maxx. It was Ulta. So I only smelled the scent there. And I didn't pick it up. 
but I really like that scent and I found this and it was like the dupe version. I think this really does smell like Flower Bomb, very similar. It's only just a little bit more musky. That's how I would describe like the difference between the two. And I don't think it lasts as long. I mean, I don't really know, but I would assume. But it's a really pretty scent. It's almost like a little bit... It's kind of fruity, honestly, and it almost has like this like citrusy scent to it. It reminds me a little bit of orange Tic Tacs. I know, crazy, right? But that's kind of what it gives me off, but in a more beautiful way. It still has some floral notes in here. It's just a really pretty scent, but also very fruity. The next one I was really impressed by, and I know not a lot of people like this, but this is blue or blue. This is Burberry for women. So this is just like, it reminds me of prunes. I'm going to say that with anything that has tonka bean in it. I think this has tonka bean in it. Um, and I think it's actually might be, um, actually, I'm not sure about this scent completely. But um, it gives me like a little bit of Carolina Herrera good girl vibes. Um which I would say is more Burberry uh, Brit, but I'll go on to this. So it's a very powdery scent. I will give it that. And I think that's what a lot of people don't like about Burberry for women. But it's just such a really pretty scent to me. I really love it, honestly. It's great, like, everyday kind of scent. Um, I really like to wear it during the daytime. Not as much for, like, summer, but really love it for like winter. The next one is Burberry Brit. So this is a lot of people's favorites. Really pretty scent. You can definitely get the lime in here. And also for some reason I smell prunes similar to Carolina Herrera Good Girl vibes, which is why I love this scent so much. But it's really just a very sophisticated grown-up scent. I believe this one has tonka bean in it. Um, which I think kind of gives it that sophisticated sexiness to it. This one's a lot more sexy. I wear this for like date nights, like with my boyfriend. Definitely, even though it's not like an everyday wear for me, this is one I love to wear when I go out. So now I haven't gone out a whole lot this year, to be honest, but when I do go out, I definitely reach for this one. And I just think it's a really beautiful, sophisticated, but at the same time, sexy scent. The next one is Bath and Body Works Aginam. Now, this scent I wasn't too crazy about when I first got it. You definitely get the clementine like notes in here, kind of citrusy, but at the same time, you get the blue freesia, which kind of makes it kind of like smell like cleaning product a little bit, which wasn't my favorite. But now I really appreciate this and love it. I actually really love even the hand sanitizer in this. But um, I really do like clean scents. I'm always at the gym. I'm always working out. And this one I just go for. It's honestly a lot more beautiful than I originally thought it was going to be. You know, at first I was kind of like, ah, it kind of smells like a cleaning product. But I realize I really appreciate that. It's not like in a chemically way, though. It's just in a very fresh way. So I really love this one. I think the blue freesia does add a clean scent notes in here, but it makes it smell beautiful. And then the citrus, like the clementine in here, just really adds to this freshness. Like as if you're at a picnic, um, this would be perfect for like the 4th of July as well. Really beautiful scent. But just honestly, great everyday scent as well. If you're like a gym person like me, this is a good one to go for. Okay, so the next one I'm going to mention to you guys, this is A Thousand Wishes. Now, this is a beautiful scent. This has been my favorite for like a while. Well, not my favorite, but close to my favorite. Um, it's just a really pretty girly scent. I don't know how else to explain it. It isn't like a super grown up scent, like it is more on the younger side, like high school, college maybe, you know, kind of beyond, a little bit beyond that maybe. Um, I wouldn't picture like my mom wearing this, 
but I don't think she would mind it either. Um, it's a really just a really pretty scent. You definitely get a few different notes. I think it's a little bit more of a step up from some of the other Bath & Body Works scents I've smelled. It's a very like classy, pretty scent. I would wear it for, honestly, I could wear it this on a day-to-day -day basis or for a night out. I just think it's like pretty for either. Um, especially like to like a shower or like an event, kind of like a more bougie thing I would wear this to. This is just a really pretty scent. Actually, it, like I said, it kind of gives Pink Vanilla Wish this like more the gourmand version of this scent, but you get like that really pretty perfume scent. In a way, although I see why people like you're the one, you're the ones more grown up, they are kind of similar in a way. Um... But this one's nice for like if you're a little bit younger in my opinion and I just gravitate to this one a little bit more. But you still get kind of like this candy like I would say Swedish fish kind of scent to it as well as you get like peonies. Um, like they said there's amaretto cream or amaretto cream in it which is kind of I believe that's an alcohol um, drink and you definitely get like this creaminess to the scent. But it's just an overall really beautiful scent and I really appreciate it in my collection. The next one is You're the One. So this is not a scent that I reach for all the time, but when I do, I really love it. I like to reach for this sometimes when I go out, but especially if I'm going out with just like a few people or like with my boyfriend. So this is like a great date night scent, like if you're going out to dinner somewhere kind of more casual or somewhere a little bit more fancy but you know you're just like one-on-one -on -one. so whenever I go out with my boyfriend this is a scent that I really do like to reach for or I'm just having like a get together with a small group of people this is a great scent it's not one I typically reach for whenever I'm going just like day-to-day -day basis it is a little bit heavier especially than a thousand wishes it's like the more grown-up sister of it. But this one is beautiful. I think it makes sense for a lot of different age groups as well. This one, you definitely get like a more woodsy vibe to it, which is another reason why I don't want to reach for it every day. But you also get this strawberry nectar, which really sweetens it and adds to like this pretty perfume type like scent to it, as well as the florals in here. But overall, this definitely is pretty. If you want to have a scent that smells like a perfume, trust me on this one. This is a good way to go. They also have a perfume version of this. I don't have that, but I believe that one is beautiful as well. The next one is in the stars. Now, this is a very bougie scent. This has been my favorite for a while. Not my top favorite. Not my like absolute favorite, which I'll mention in a s later. Um, but this is just like one of my top favorites. This one is so bougie. Whenever I wear this, I feel like a star, like I'm going to like a Hollywood carpet event. That is the vibes that this gives me in the stars. So to me, this gives me like the stars of Hollywood kind of vibe. Like if they came out with like a Hollywood collection, I feel like this should be in that collection along with Into the Night. Um, it's just so bougie. It makes me feel like a million bucks when I wear this scent. Um, really pretty. I absolutely love the moisturizing body wash version of this scent as well and the lotion. And people do say it's cologne-like, which I kind of can get, but I definitely think there is the sophisticated perfume like quality to this scent as well to me it kind of smells like not like a straight up cologne but like you mix perfume with cologne together and ultimately I think it just makes the perfect scent I really love the masculine quality to this as well as the feminine quality it's too sweet to be a cologne in my opinion but it definitely has I feel like the cologne quality in the scent kind of gives it like a step up in my opinion and it makes it a little bit more bougie. You get like the tangelo, the sugar tangelo, which really sweetens the fragrance that adds kind of like that fruitiness factor, but you don't get a whole lot of that. You still get 
the other notes which really stand out in this scent and really just make it this grown-up sophisticated perfume almost quality to it um you definitely get sandalwood in here and i believe there's amber which i'm sure kind of adds the masculine tea of this scent but honestly it just makes it so beautiful just the most bougie perfect night scent and even this i could get away with wearing it during the day but it wouldn't be that often um usually i would wear this for like an event Okay, now moving on to my favorite Bath & Body Works scent, Lovely Dreamer. So I know a lot of people mention that they love scents that are like cotton-like, you know, kind of smell like, like you just took your clothes out the dryer, dryer sheets. To me, this is the ultimate scent that represents that. Out of all the fragrances, this is the most like it to me but also in the most beautiful way. It smells like that, but then you added like beads to your clothes to make it smell better. You're adding stuff. And it's just the most beautiful scent I've ever smelled. It, and I know, you know, some people don't like that cotton-like sheet-like scent, but honestly, this is done the right way. It's still on the same, um, it is very powdery, and this is a great scent for like the daytime because you're not going to smell too much. Usually when I wear this, I get compliments and people just say I really smell pretty. Um, so I really love this scent. I know sometimes it gets hate because people say you smell like a grandma. And the only thing I have to say about this is I can picture grandmas wearing this, but I don't necessarily think it's a grandma scent. But I do think people that would wear this because it's so soft and so light now at the same time the lasting power on this is really good though so i think this is like a perfume like quality to it and i actually want to share with you guys the notes so this is fluffy musk clean woods white iris and fresh bergamot so to me the bergamot kind of adds to that fresh quality to it the iris makes it smell a little bit pretty like a very pretty perfume and then the fluffy musk and clean woods adds to like that cleanliness of this scent. It makes it like this almost dreamlike quality to it. But I would say dreamlike in the sense that you, like dreaming through the daytime or right before bed. But this is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Next one is Hibiscus Guava Fresca. So to me, this is such a great scent. I love to wear this at the gym. And whenever I wear this scent, I find myself smelling myself all day because I love it so much. And to me, this smells like a really fruity smoothie. It's just like the most beautiful scent. I love guava and I do like hibiscus and it just gives it like this kind of like fresh smoothie kind of smell. But it's just one of my favorites, honestly, from Bath & Body Works, beautiful scent. And I love to wear this, especially if I'm like craving like a tropical smoothie kind of drink. Next one is Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. This one is like a very like vacation like scent. I really love this. It's similar to this, but I'd say it's a little bit more musky. Um, I definitely love guava scents. So this has guava to it. It does smell like a drink, but this one is a little bit more musky. I would say it smells more like an alcoholic drink, whereas this one smells more like a smoothie. But I really love this one. Very beautiful scent. Perfect like vacation. If you like tropical scents, this one was my favorite. Okay, the next is a perfume. This is the Rollerball, and it's the Pacifica Himalayan Patchouli Berry scent. This is truly like a beautiful fragrance. It's just... It's got the perfect amount of patchouli and berry. Now, patchouli is pretty strong. This one still captures like the beautiful um, patchouli scent, but it's not like in an overpowering way. It just makes it, it just really at steps up this fragrance and makes it like a perfect like perfume scent. And then the berry notes in here just really make it such a pretty scent. So I really like this. I think they did a great job. Sometimes patchouli can be a hit or miss and they really stepped it up with this scent. So I love this one. The next one is Pink Sugar. 
Now, pink sugar is one of those scents I don't want to wear every day, but when I'm in the mood to smell like burning sugar and like red vines, so it has like a licorice note in here and you really get like the smell of like red vines. This is one I really love to reach for. It reminds me of a carnival and they're making funnel cakes and cotton candy and maybe like caramel kind of stuff. That is what the scent smells like to me, but in the best way. And then it has like this steps up um, and it makes it this very feminine, pretty scent with the licorice note in here, which is kind of like a red vine kind of scent, but it just smells so pretty. I really love this. And I definitely like to wear it whenever I'm craving something sweet. The next one is Ariana Grande Cloud. Now, I know I mentioned that Sweet Light Candy was my favorite body mist. However, when it comes to Ariana Grande perfumes, this one is my favorite. Now, this one has like a musk notes in here. Um, it is musky and it does have like that cloud-like dream-like feel to it. But this one also, I feel like the lasting power in this one's really good and it has this candy-like scent. So to me, this smells like runts and Skittles for the candy. I can kind of pick up on that. So that's what I get out of this scent, as well as like it has like a coconut note and then it has like, um, like vanilla kind of notes. Almost smells marshmallowy as well, but just such a beautiful scent. This is my favorite perfume that Ariana Grande has. I like it even more than Ari um, and Sweet Like Candy. I really haven't had yet, but this one is just my favorite. It's so beautiful. The next one is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is my favorite perfume. And you guys, I went through one bottle of this already. And I'm already down to here, which is really sad. Because that means I probably will have to get a new one. But this is my favorite perfume, like, ever. And the reason why is because it's so versatile. It's such an everyday classic scent. It smells like apples, like green apples and lemons. And I just love the freshness that the scent has. It didn't, I know people say it's like cleaner like. They don't like that scent. They don't like the lasting power. I agree the lasting power is not the best. But I do have to say with the scent, I do not, I get where people say Windex I have to say, you don't get like the chemical scent that Windex has. It's just a very fresh, beautiful scent. And to me, this smells like fresh green apples, you know, and it smells like fresh lemons. So that is what makes the scent really stand out to me. And whenever I wear this, it's just perfect for the gym. Whenever I have like a nauseating day, like I get nauseated by certain scents sometimes, you know, just if I have nausea or whatever issues, this scent just helps me out so much. It doesn't give me a headache. It doesn't give me nausea or anything, whereas pink sugar sometimes can do that. Um, but this is just my go-to classic scent, and it, I just feel like I can always reach for it. It's always beautiful. It's always light and very airy and very fresh. So that is why that one is one of my favorites or is my favorite perfume. Okay, moving on. So I'm gonna start off with Pink Soft and Dreamy. This is beautiful whenever I wanna smell like flower petals. That's what it gives me. It definitely, you can smell the flowers, you can smell um, petals, and you do get kind of like a woodsy like scent to it, which kind of gives that dreamlike quality to it. But it's such a beautiful scent. Now Soft and Dreamy Chilled, I like even more. This one smells like flower petals, but the peach added in here and the iciness of this scent, which kind of gives it like more like that coolness, gives it like that breeze-like quality to it. It's just so pretty. This is such a beautiful scent. And I love to reach for this whenever I want to smell soft and pretty and like flower petals. Next one is Velvet Petals La Creme. This one also kind of has that flower petals, but it's more in the grown-up version side. It has the creamy-like quality to it. This is really just a beautiful scent as well. Definitely one of my favorites from Victoria's Secret. 
Next is Pure Seduction La Creme. This is my favorite out of the La Creme line. Uh, Velvet Petals is close, but Velvet Petals still has a slightly rubbery scent to this. Whereas this one doesn't have like any kind of like rubbery, plasticky weirdness going on. So this one's my favorite. And I really do get like this gardenia scent, but at the same time, like a caramel apple, which kind of sweetens it and makes it really beautiful for me, but not over the top caramel apple, like a fall scent. It's more like a spring-like scent. It's a little bit lighter, more feminine, more grown up, more sophisticated. Next one is Warm and Cozy by Pink. This one, I love this one. So this is an interesting scent in a way because I've never smelled anything like it um, in scent form, like in a perfume fragrance mist. It has soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. So I really get all of that. I get vanilla a little bit. I get that toasted coconut, which makes it kind of like a warm scent. And then I get the passion fruit, which really steps this fragrance up. It kind of elevates it. It just makes it really pretty. I really love this one. But to me, this one, it is like a little bit of a younger scent, but not like in a over-the-top sweet way. This one gives me bubblegum vibes. Like it just straight up smells like bubblegum to me with all the notes mixed together. I couldn't figure out what it reminded me before, but that is exactly what this scent gives me. And that's why I love it. I love the smell of bubblegum. Like kind of like a sweet bubblegum, you know, like, like a more like kids version of bubblegum, but just in the best way. But you still get like the toasted coconut and passion fruit. It is a lot more grown up than that. But you definitely, I feel like all together with the warmth of it, it kind of reminds me of bubblegum. The next one is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. So this body mist is just my favorite vanilla. I fell in love with vanilla with this scent. Um, now, my boyfriend told me that this, that I smelled like a s'mores when I wore this. And I kind of get it like... I was trying to figure out what it was about this vanilla I love so much. So it says whipped vanilla and soft cashmere. And really what I get out of this is like a vanilla with like a slight marshmallow scent. And that is why I love this so much. I love the smell of marshmallow. So I think that's what really steps this up for me. It doesn't smell like vanilla Play-Doh. It smells more grown up, but it smells a little bit like marshmallows, like s'mores. Just a really beautiful warm scent and especially if you mix this with something like um, marshmallow fireside or something I think by Bodycology it'll really smell like s'mores and campfire. Next one is Victoria's Secret Pomegranate and Lotus. So this scent really reminds me of another Victoria's Secret scent. I would call it uh, it's one of their most popular scents. Pure Seduction. The original one, that's what this reminds me of. It's very fruity. I really love this scent. I love the smell of pomegranate. And it's just very fruity. But I do like this one more. I think it's a little bit more toned down. You know, the other one is like fruity, but it smells like, you know, kind of like rotten apples mixed with normal apples and or not apples, like plums, you know, but this one is a little bit more toned down. It smells a little bit more grown up, a little bit lighter. So I really love this one. The next one is Victoria's Secret Coconut Milk and Rose. This one, you guys, I get so many compliments on this scent. When I go to the gym, I've had people come up to me like, what is that? My sister, when she smelled this, immediately fell in love with it. It's just the most beautiful scent. Um, it doesn't smell too much. like It doesn't smell like an old lady rose, by the way. Um, the coconut milk really helps calm it down. It's just the most pretty scent. And it smells like it, it kind of like gives me like energy. I feel like when I wear this, this is like what I love to wear in the mornings. Or like when I get up during the day when I go out. This is what I like to reach for a lot. It's just a beautiful scent. Next one is Victoria's Secret Scandalous. This one, you guys, I, I don't know. My friend gave this to me. I wish I got the fragrance mist version of this. I'm kind of hoping I can get some for Sunlight Annual, but I think they're discontinued. 
but this is just so nice. I don't even know how to explain it. It has like a slightly vanilla scent to it, but also fruity. I love the way Victoria's Secret does their scents. Um, this is just so nice. It's kind of like got this sexy factor to it too. I wear this for a night out or even during the day. Beautiful scent. Next one is Heavenly. So I know a lot, this gets a lot of hate. Um, you definitely get like this vanilla-ness to it. Um, and then to me, even though it's like a floral, it's like vanilla and florals, to me this smells like pears, like, like the fruit pear, you know? That's what it smells like to me. I don't know why. It smells like vanilla and pears. But it is powdery, which I think is why people don't like it. But I love that. I think it's like the most beautiful, like, 70-degree day. You're going to church or you're going to a baseball game. If you want that light, powdery scent, which actually it has a similar vibe to Lovely Dreamer. But this one is even more, like, daytime, like, wakes you up more, I feel like. Um, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. And this is just such a beautiful scent. I wish more people would talk about it because I think it's great. I know people say it smells like cologne, which I don't get that much, but you know, I guess I like cologne scents because this one's so good and it's kind of like powdery, but it definitely, I feel like the name fits it as well. It's a very like church like scent, like you could wear it to church. Um, not like old lady, but I could see why some old ladies would wear it. I would actually picture more like moms wearing this set. Um, but it's just a really beautiful one to me. Next one is Victoria's Secret Tees. And you guys, I actually fell in love with this scent, okay? Like, it's so good. This one has pears in it. Now, to me, I get like a very sharp pear note where it almost smells like prickly pears and for some reason it smells like cactus to me a little bit um but this one is so good like I actually really love it and I love that they added vanilla into the scent um it's just become one of my favorites like look at this I have been using a lot of it and I don't know it's just very sexy like I could wear it for like nights out I love to wear it to dinner I like to wear it during the day too um, I'm not always in the mood to wear like a stronger scent, but this one is a really good one. And I like how versatile it is. Like I could wear it during the day or for like a night out, but I do find it more on the sexy side. Next one is Bombshell. This is a very pretty scent. I've had this since high school. Not this one, but I've had like older versions of this. It's really nice. It has like a soapy factor to it that I really like. Um, very clean smelling. It's also beautiful for the gym. I really just like to wear this because whenever I want to smell feminine, this is what I reach for. It has like a masculine undertone to it, which I really love actually. Um, but yeah, this is just a really good one. Very clean smelling, very uh, fresh and clean. And But at the same time, very fruity. It has like kind of like it has like that fruity scent but it's not like too sweet it has like a like more tartness to it which i love the next one is bombshell beach you guys this is my favorite this is my favorite so it does have a masculine undertone i think all the bombshells do but this excuse me this one smells like you're at the beach like tropical vibes you can wear this for like a night out it's a very summery scent um, I would wear it anytime during the year, personally, but yeah, it really does have that vibe. It does kind of have like a coconut or coconut kind of scent to it, but not too much. I don't even know if there's coconuts in here, but honestly, I just think it smells very fruity, very like vacation-like, very good for like the summer, and it's just a very overall like very fruity scent, but like in the best way, in the best way, honestly. And I actually have to mention to you guys. So I also have the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Paradise. This one my friend gave to me. And these are pretty much the same scent, I believe. Same notes. They, for some reason to me, they do smell slightly different. This one's even more fruity to me smelling, but it could just because it's more intense because it's a perfume version. But it's so good. It is so good. Um, it's just the most beautiful fruity scent. 
and it still has some florals in here, I believe, but just so pretty. I think Victoria's Secret does their fruity scent so well, especially Bombshell. All the Bombshells smell so good, and those are my favorite from them. And Bombshell Paradise is just like top quality. It definitely reminds me, I'm going to have to put it with all these other perfumes that I mentioned because they're pretty much similar quality. But these are practically the same scent, so, but so beautiful. And this has become one of my favorite perfumes. Like, it has to be in my top list, and I'll do that in a different video, like my top favorite perfumes. These are just some of my favorites, like, um, but I'll do my top favorites the next video. Next one is Jimmy Choo Blossom. You guys, this one's so good if you like like a fruit juice scent. It's a very juicy and fruity fragrance, which I think is so beautiful. I love how they captured like floral in here as well as like fruit juice vibes. Really love this scent. Beautiful. Next one is Versace Bright Crystal. This is a really kind of like clean scent. I would actually compare this to Bombshell, the original one. Um, I mean, they're, they're different for sure, but this one has like a pomegranate note in here and I just think it makes it, you know, kind of like a more like slightly tart fruit, but very beautiful, very grown up. It has like a soapy scent that this one kind of has as well. Um, and overall it's just like one of my favorite, top favorite perfumes. So pretty. And this one smells so grown up, like I could wear this to the gym. I mean, it's expensive, so you might not want to wear it to the gym, but it is good for that. And it gives you like that clean quality. And then finally, you guys, my favorite, or not my favorite, I guess, but one of my top favorites, Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. So this is similar to this one, but this one is more like, it's more fruity. It has more, it has a raspberry note to it. I would compare this to Bombshell Paradise because they both kind of have like that very fruity quality. But this one is also more floral. Very pretty. Um, Just a very grown up scent. I would wear this like to a wedding shower, to a... I don't know, like a wedding. Like this would be perfect scent for that. It's very fruity, very pretty. It's more sweet than the original Versace Crystal. They're very similar. This one's more sweet. It's a little bit less soapy, you know, because of that. So this one, I just like more. All right, you guys, but those are all of my favorite fragrances out of my collection. I will be doing a top favorites video, but these are just overall most of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great night.